an election is uh, in front of us. And there's a lot of concern and anxiety uh, around uh, this November's election in terms of making sure that you can conduct yourself in a safe way and to make sure your health is protected and to make sure that we are reaching out uh, to all registered eligible voters and giving them the opportunity and giving them the choice uh, not to feel like they have to go into a concentrated dense environment where their health may be at risk but provide an additional asset and additional resources by way of voting by mail. Uh, I signed an executive order uh, about an hour ago uh, that will allow every registered voter in the state of California to receive a mail-in ballot. That mail-in ballot is important, but it's not an exclusive substitute to physical locations. People that otherwise uh, are not familiar with mail-in ballots, uh, are uncomfortable with them, uh, may have disabilities, uh, may have other issues that may preclude that as an appropriate option. We still want to have the appropriate number of physical sites for people to vote as well. We've been working with our extraordinary Secretary of State, Alex Padilla, for many, many months on this. Uh, he has not hesitated since the beginning of this pandemic to make this one of his top priorities. We're also working with legislative uh, leaders that also want to share their voice in this space as well. In the executive order uh, to release uh, a framework of getting a mail-in uh, ballot, we also have put in some specific language about the need in the next days and weeks, by the end of this month at the latest, uh, to put together a very detailed plan on physical locations uh, that need to be set up uh, for our ballot this November.